All right, so we've looked at routing, views, controllers. The next thing I want to look at is services. And services are basically, uh, if you're familiar with singleton, singleton objects, which are objects that, or functions that will return a single object in a single instance. You can't have two instances running at the same time. Um, basically, that's what services are in, in Angular. And there's different types of services. There's values, there's provider, there's factory services, which is what we'll be looking at today. Uh, and a factory basically will just return something back to us that we can use in our code. Um, a lot of the times when you're dealing with uh, databases or RESTful APIs, you'll do all that inside of a service function and then uh, inject it into your controller and, and do what you want with it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to have basically two services. One is going to be an auth authentication service. Uh, we're basically just going to move our code from our controller to our service, uh, and the same thing with um, getting the customers. Uh, right now it's hard coded in the controller. We want to hard code it in the service. Ultimately, you would want to have some kind of external. Uh, RESTful API or database where you would actually bring those customers in from there into the service. Um, but for this app, we're just going to hard code it into the service, which is um, better than, than keeping it in the controller. All right, so if we go to our app directory and let's open up our controllers and we want to open up the services script as well. Uh, and the syntax is is close to the controller syntax as far as the module. We have our module, and it goes to myapp.services, and then we do whatever we want. And you can see here they have a very small example. Uh, this is a value service which basically just assigns a value. Um, so we're assigning 0 0.1 to version. All right, and if we go ahead and look in our index page, you can see here, all right, so this is where we're accessing it. This is actually a directive. What they've done is they've used the service to grab, to create this, this um, instance, all right, and then it passed to the directive, all right. The directive is grabbing it and putting it into that attribute that we saw in the index file. All right, so let's actually open our app up. And you can see that this is where it's outputted. This is where that value is outputted. And if we go into services and let's say change this to version 1 and we reload, it's going to be gone, all right? But if we want, we could just change it um not here in the directive it's getting it um, right here if we change this to version 1 it should change we should get it back alright so you can see how the directive and the service are working together alright so I'm going to change that back alright now what we're going to do is create our own service and like I said in the last section um, the the angular seed template or framework that we used is kind of doing a um, a chaining kind of thing here and I don't want to do that so we're going to do what we did in controllers and separate our actual uh, instantiation from our single uh, controllers in our case services alright so we're going to say variable my app is going to be equal to this module get rid of the dot so that's pretty much its own thing now and for this we could say my app dot value alright so that should still work alright so now we can go ahead and create our separate uh, services I don't like bunching them all together like that so we're going to create an authentication service, which is going to um, basically log in for us. All right, so let's say my app dot factory. Like I said, there's a few different kinds of services, provider, 
you know, obviously value you can see here. All right, so in this, we're going to name it authentication service, and it's good. It's good um, convention to start your services with a with a capital letter. All right, so we name it. Then we want to pass in anything that we want to pass in here. Uh, in our case, is going to be the location. All right, so we're going to pass in the location, and then we want to call our function. And you can see that the syntax is very similar to a, the controller module that we're using. And this function is going to take a location. All right, so if we go to our controllers, um, let's see. We're going to leave this. We're going to leave the credentials. We want to grab the login and the logout. So I'm just going to um, grab this and go to our service, paste that in right here. Um, now there's some things we need to do right here. Uh, first, we don't need to we don't need to define. Actually, you know what? Services need to return a single object, so we need to return this. All right, so just put that around everything we just stuck in here. All right, make this a little more readable. Alright, so we're going to be returning everything that's in here, which is going to be our, our login code and logout code. Alright, so we don't need to have this scope here or here. And let's see, let's take a look here. What we want to do is we're passing in our scope from the controller. So we're going to call it creds here, and we can see where it's passed. We're actually uh, well, we can't see where it's passed because we didn't do that yet. Um, but we're going to pass in creds. We're going to pass our scope creds into the function. And that's why we don't need this here. We don't need that. We don't need this. All right. So let's see. Location path is good. All right. So that looks good. All right. So let's save that. And then go back to our controllers and we want to get rid of the content that's in the login and logout function. All right, so inside of here, what we want to do, well, first of all, we have to pass in our service. All right, we pass it in up here. All right, we're going to say um, authentication service. And we also need to pass it in here. We actually don't need the location anymore here. So I'm going to get rid of that. And we don't even need it here. What we do need here is the service. So authentication service. All right, now let's see. We're going to keep the credentials uh, in the login. We just need to say the name of our service dot login, and then from here we're going to pass in our scope scope dot creds. Okay, and then for down here. We're just going to call logout. Okay, so this makes our controller a little bit more clean. We have we have our our functions passed off to a service to handle the the uh, functionality. All right, so let's make sure this works still. Uh, okay, we're having an issue here. Let me see. Expected token services line fourteen. Okay, we got a login equals function creds. Oh, 
Um, hmm. All right, I used the equal sign here, and what we actually need is a colon. Okay, let's try this admin one two three four all right so that works log out that works too all right so what we've done is basically just passed off our controller functionality into the service so the next thing I want to do is the customer service so we're going to basically uh, do the same thing let me just copy this All right, I'm gonna re I'm gonna actually get rid of everything inside of here. I'm gonna change the name to customer service, and we don't need this location. We don't need it here either. All right, so in here we have to do a few things. First off we need to initialize uh, a factory variable. All right, so we'll say variable factory is just gonna be equal to an empty object. All right, and the customers are gonna go up here. Let me just put that in. Um, I don't hate this indenting system. All right, so variable, um, variable customers is going to equal and we're going to put all our customers in there in that array so after we claim the factory variable we want to call factory dot and we'll call this get customers all right get customers is going to be equal to a function Okay, so in here, all we have to do is return the customer's variable. All right, so, and you can also, if you're working with a database or a RESTful API, you could do something like factory dot um, post customers. All right, and then you would point that to a, a callback function. Uh, and you would also pass along some kind of customer argument and then code to add customer all right and you could have a update customers a delete customers and have the whole crud operation going from this customer service all right but what we're going to do is just to retrieve them all right so we're not going we're not implementing any kind of database I'll leave that for an example though. And then finally, we just want to return the factory variable. All right. Now, all we need to do here is, is populate our customers array, which we have here. So I'm going to grab this. All right. And we can also delete this. Oh, actually, we'll leave it for now. Let's go ahead and add our customers. All right, so that's basically it for our customer service. And all we need to do in our controller is have scope.customers equal to our service. Customer service dot get customers. Oh, one thing we did forget is to bring in the customer service. So we need to do that here. And right here. All right, so let's make sure that this all works. Save that, save that. All right, so it looks like it still works. Good. All right, so that's how you can create a service 
um, I would highly suggest that you look through the documentation uh, at docs.angularjs.org uh, so you can read more about what you can do with services. So that's it. In the next video, we will look into filtering and we'll filter through our data here.